Hey everyone, it's Jessica and welcome to another Goodwill thrifting video. I'm headed over to the home decor section to see what I can find this week. In case you are new here, I mainly thrift for home decor, things I can use, and gifts for friends and family. I did find two really nice items on today's trip and I will share with you what I found and how I styled it in my home at the end of the video. And let me know down in the comments what your favorite item was on today's thrifting trip. I really enjoy reading every answers. One of the first things that really caught my eye on today's trip was the piece of artwork that you saw in the first clip. I had to take it down and check it out. I really liked the print and it was inside of an Ikea ribba frame and I thought the price wasn't too bad. So I'm just curious, does anybody know what these things are? My first instinct was they were some sort of egg holder, but I wasn't quite sure. Let me know in the comments below. So if you enjoy thrifting and thrift hauls, definitely check out my playlist called Thrifting in 2021. I will link it here at the top of the screen. It's all of the thrifting videos that I have done so far this year, and I continue to add to it every week. I also thought I would mention that when I'm out thrifting and making these videos, I like to film things that catch my eye, whether they are my style or not. For example, how could this huge spoon that I came across not grab your attention? I was curious to see how much it was and I was really surprised it was only $3.89. I was expecting it to be a lot higher. I thought this coffee and tea jar were really cute and they would be perfect for someone with a strawberry theme in their kitchen. They're not my style so I did leave them behind for someone that has been looking for something like this and I hope they get a great home. It's kind of hard to read, but the price for this box was $3.29. It's right there on the little metal latch. And when I opened it up, I was surprised that the home goods tag was still on it and it was originally $14.99, so $3.29 wasn't too bad. I 
found a random sign stuffed between some laptop bags and some sporting equipment, so I thought I would check it out. I thought it was pretty funny. I thought about getting it for my garage, but it wasn't quite what I was looking for, so I did end up leaving it behind. And the last item that I wanted to share with you guys before I show you what I purchased today was this adorable pink guitar with the heart on it. I thought it was really pretty and I'm sure someone is going to snatch it up really quick. So the first item that I purchased today was that piece of art that I showed you at the beginning of the video. It's rare that I find a piece of art that I like. It was an Ikea Ribba frame for $9.99 and I did open up the frame to check out the print inside. The print was titled Tall Trees by Richard Barrett. I also looked up the artist online and I came across his website and I checked out some more of his work and I really liked it. I will link his website down below in case you want to check out some of his work as well. So I did buy this art to go in my downstairs bathroom. I used to have a shelf in here with a lot of different figurines. I took that out a couple of months ago and I wanted to find something new to put in its place. And the last item that I purchased today was this really huge book of Leonardo da Vinci sketches and paintings. I love collecting books about art and history, and I can't believe that I got this book for the regular hardback book price of only $1.29. And this book was heavy. I had to weigh it for you guys so you could see how much it weighed. It was almost 11 and a half pounds. This book was in excellent condition. It was really interesting to look at and it also had a really nice linen cover on the outside. And here is where I decided to put the book for now. I have this table here in my dining area with some plants on it and I thought it would look really cool underneath my tray here on the middle of the table. And now that I'm looking at this, I think it would be really cool to find a plant related book about the same size to put under the tray. And that is everything that I found on today's thrifting trip. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as Peanut enjoys checking out my thrift finds. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video inspires you to go out and go thrifting because you never know what you're going to find. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.